Hey everybody, Sean Keenan here, and uh, in this video for Edge 3D CGI Network, I'm going to show you a uh, demonstration of the Bender Ghost rig here, so that you guys know exactly where everything is, uh, and also how this rig is going to go ahead and work. So let's go ahead and just jump in here and take a look at our rig. Uh, obviously the material system here is going to be V-Ray, so let me go ahead and open up my Hypershade here. And I'll just take a second to load all this material information in here real quick. Okay, so you can see that we have a, a bunch of different materials in here. Um, we not only have the, the shader information, but we also have uh, animating eye uh, shaders as well. Also cigar textures because there are um, different pieces of the model that go along here. Um, so you can see that we have our uh, Bender Ghost beer. Uh, also the ghostly shader for what is the cigar so everything here is going to render with v-ray um, but if you don't have v-ray you can still use the rig uh, it's just going to work better if you actually have v-ray to go ahead and render out your animations because all these materials are set for the v-ray material type so let's go ahead here and, and take a look at some of the controls on the rig uh, we obviously have our um, main animation controllers but we also have the ability to go ahead and use it at a rendering level and you can see that the wireframe of the model changes okay and let's go down here to uh, bite my ectoplasmically um, shiny ass so this is going to be the um, level which you would probably really want to render um, it's really going to render smooth even at the uh, rendering level but if you really want to have a, a really smooth animation in terms of the actual geometry, I would suggest that you write, um, run the Bite My Ectoplasmic Ass level, which is just meant there to be funny. Uh, it's not meant to, to really offend anybody. Uh, let's take a look here at some of the other controls. We also have our uh, Ghostly Beer, which is in the model as well. So if we go ahead and turn this on, you're going to see that there's going to be a beer come into the uh, scene here. And this is... Um, not really showing the the actual material in the viewport here but this beer actually is a ghostly beer to match Bender's um, skin shader and it's also a detachable piece um, as well as attachable so if you wanted to go ahead and um, let's say put this beer inside the body I'm going to show you how you can go ahead and do that because we already have uh, a beer system inside the body we would just have to go ahead and turn that on um, but if you wanted to, let's say, um, connect this one to the body, just go ahead and use a parent constraint. Um, let's go ahead and turn this off. Let's take a look at our cigar. And this will come in here. And let me see right here on the side. But this cigar is also um, has the, the glow rig on it as well. And it also has an ash glow, also along with the smooth controller for the rig, so you can tell where the geometry will change here. And then if you're going to get really close up, you can tell that that um, geometry is really uh, more smoothed out. So we also have an ash glow here. So at zero, there's no glow on the rig. But if you crank this up to 10 and render it out, you're actually going to have a glow for the um, cherry on the cigar. So go ahead and turn that down. Let's go ahead and turn our, rig off, um, our cigar rig off here. Let's take a look at our tail wiggle control. So... The sign node here is for our tail wiggle control. Now it's um, circular, so it's just going to continue to run, but there's an amount where it just won't run past, and that's 50. And that should give you enough control to, to go ahead and animate that ghostly control for the body and for the tail, for the wiggle. Let's go ahead and shut that off. You can also rotate it in the X, Y, or Z axis here. So if you're floating and if you're going forward or backward, you can go ahead and um, just turn it to the side. You know, turn on your wiggle control because you can see where it's going to wiggle there. Let me go ahead and just turn those off real quick. Let's take a look at our body control information here. So there's a couple different things here where you can actually move your door and you can see that you have the inside beer in the body. Uh, you can always go ahead and turn that beer off. Okay. Let's go ahead and shut that door. We'll go ahead and turn our beer off. But we also have the ability to go ahead and spin our head.
and you can turn the original head off okay and if you want to use say like an extra head where he's like flying around carrying his head you can go ahead and do that because I gave you guys an extra head to go ahead and use so this head um, for right now it's connected to the body and connected to the rig but if we went ahead and turned that off to the free you can see where our heads going to be free but uh, that also allows us to have our um, sign node for the teeth to where he talks because if you've ever seen the cartoon his teeth don't move up and down it's just a simple sign node that's running so we'll go ahead and put that back and I'll just go ahead and move that over here go ahead and put our body back or we'll go ahead and turn off our uh, detachable head here okay just make sure that that's controlled we'll go ahead and reopen the door here turn our beer on and our beers on the inside portion of the body also have a smear, smooth control so it's going to be a totally smooth beer um, and you can see that all that UV shape information stays okay uh, let's go ahead here and take a look at our arms let me go ahead and shut the door and we'll go ahead and turn that beer off okay our arms uh, have that IK handle but we can either rotate it the uh, pivot for the rest as well as the fingers here in both X, Y, and Z control. Okay. We also have stretchy limb for the arms, which can either be turned on or turned off, so you can stretch. And good part about it is that stretch actually maintains its um, universal control whenever you scale up and down the rig, and most rigs don't actually do that. Okay, so let's go ahead and put our rig back here in, into place. I mean, we'll go ahead and turn that stretchy limb off real quick. We have your your elbow shape, which is indicated by the E here. Okay. And there's actually no detachable arms here. And this is because his he is a ghost rig, and I didn't feel that his arms actually should be detachable. Okay. So let's go ahead and turn our original head on. You can always, you know, as you can see there, turn that head off to where it can be flying around without a head and, or basically have head and body or have a head and a body separately. Let's go ahead and take a look at our mouth here. And those arms controls are also on the uh, right arm control as well. So uh, our teeth control here, you can see that our teeth are being uh, affected by the sign control. And you can always scale this up scale it down to manipulate the actual size of the teeth shape that are would, um, would be moving and affecting them okay, so if you go ahead and scale that down you can see where the uh, intensity of that sign node changes as well okay let's take a look at our eyes here so we also have uh, a lot of eye control here and let me just move this down and uh, scale this up a little bit here Okay, so you have the ability to blink your eyes. And let me go ahead and just smooth our nerves here so that you can see what we're doing. Okay, so you have the ability to blink your eyes. Uh, you can do a left blink or just a right blink. Uh, left and right eye tops. And they also work individually. Both eye bottoms, or they both work individually. Okay, or both tops and both bottoms. So if you want to do anger, you also have the, um, I don't know if you can actually see it here, but when I go ahead and turn this off, you probably aren't going to see that geometry that's actually um, in the scene here, but it's inside of the um, mechanical part for his eyes, or which holds his eyes. So if you turn it on, his anger shape will come in. Okay. The eyes will either follow the uh, bender head model, or they're going to be independent here as you can see so you can always move those back or connect them okay and let's go you can also do the eye zoom Whoa. if you can see the actual shape there and his eyelids will also move so let me go ahead here and We'll go ahead and both blink here real quick a little bit so his eyelids will also rotate as you can see there 
Okay, I'll go ahead and just turn all this stuff back to zero. And if we take a look here, I think that's about all the control that's actually in the rig. Um, you guys should definitely have a lot of fun with this rig. Uh, so yeah, uh, it should be available free here soon on the website. So uh, just keep looking on the website and enjoy the rig. So thanks for watching.